can't sleep at the top of the mountain, she says. <laughs> It was so windy all night and so cold. I don't want to get out of my tent. I'm all ready to go. This is the trail down. It's pretty cold, but it's beautiful. And Diana's tent broke, so it's not going very well. <laughs> Let's sleep at the top of the mountain, she says. <laughs> It'll be fun, she says. <laughs> Let's sleep at the top of this mountain we can find. It'll be fun. <laughs> this is not going well. the 34 miles today. <laughs> so we were up there, just right up there. Good morning. As you can tell, it's been a little interesting. <laughs> oh man, oh, I'm just laughing my butt off. Oh, so yes, it was my idea to camp at the top of Relay Peak. Um, I knew it was gonna be cold, and she knew it, and we were like, the sunset's gonna be awesome, so let's do it. So we did it, but it was so cold, like so cold. Um, it's the highest point on the Tahoe Rim Trail. It's like 10,300 feet or something like that around there. And it's very exposed, so the, the wind was just like, just beating on our tents all night and it was so loud. And like I said, it was like the Arctic and yeah, it was interesting for sure. <laughs> But Diana's tent has been having problems starting about a week ago. Some of her poles, where one of the connection goes, it keeps like slipping out of the socket. So I've had to help her several times, like tightly screw it in. I've offered my duct tape and you know, all of that. But <laughs> thankfully it stayed up all night. But this morning when she went to go back in the tent, it, it broke and so, she was just like screaming and just having having a morning. So um, yeah, I think it's good that we're gonna be done in two and a half days. We need a little break. Um, because we've been doing more miles, I convinced her that we could finish Friday instead of Saturday, which makes me very happy. But oh my goodness. Yeah, we're, we're having a great time. Like we've, we actually haven't like really gotten upset. The only time I've gotten upset this whole trip was when that mountain biker just literally almost hit me and I had to like cling onto a tree on the side of the cliff. But other than that, we're, we're having 
a lot of fun. We're just losing it mentally a little bit and physically. But it's some entertainment for you if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> anyway, going down the other side of Relay Peak and today and for the rest of the trail is so much descent for us. So a, like way more descending than climbing, which could be nice, but it's going to wreck our feet. So yeah, I don't know where we're going to camp tonight. We're just going to keep moving. There's not many water sources left. So we're going to get to a spring in about like two and a half miles and we're going to have to fill up max, compa max capacity because it'll be our last water source for the day. And that's about it. So yep, I'm ho I hope you've enjoyed our trip so far. It's been quite interesting, but very beautiful. And I'm excited to see the rest of this trail and, you know, finish my through hike of the Tahoe Room Trail. Let's go. One of my most favorite things about backpacking and through hiking is waking up and it's still fairly early and it's kind of chilly, but it's very quiet. And you get to hear a lot of the animals starting to wake up. It's like I'm surrounded by these massive hills and you know, tons of trees and it's just silent. And then I hear my feet crunching on the trail and then the birds start to chirp and the sun starts to come through the trees and I just absolutely love it. And I have some views of like Lake Tahoe and other smaller lakes and the water is like glass and just so smooth and calm and I love to have these moments by myself and just have the silence and take all of this in before like the day gets really hectic and I start running into people or you know just the day gets going it is just so peaceful and like rejuvenating and if you've experienced it you know exactly what I'm talking about it's very special Okay, so we made it to the Reliable Spring, and yes, there is some water. It's a very small trickle. It's off trail, and it's pretty steep down off the trail. So Diana was going down first, and I was on Gut Hook, and I was reading the notes about like where the water is because you can't like see it from the trail. I'm reading a comment, and it says, you know, the incline is very steep. Be careful because there's a good chance you might fall. And just as I say that, Diana just like slips and just screams. It was perfect timing. I really wish I had it on video. It was just amazing, amazing timing. So this water source is our last one for 17 miles. And then um, after that next water source, that'll be it until we're done with the trail. So there's not a lot left, but thankfully we don't need too much. So I'm just gonna fill up and take you know my three liters with me and I should be completely fine. But it's really cool because it's basically just like mud and some pools with a little bit of trickle. So someone or, or multiple people, um, 
put these little leaves all over this little stream to create like the tiniest little trickle so that people like us can fill up our water bottle. So thank you to whoever did that. Um, if it was one of you or multiple of you, that's really awesome and very helpful. So I really appreciate it. That's hikers looking out for other hikers and I like it. There's another leaf down here with a little bit stronger trickle. Don't fall, don't fall. See, this is a good one right here. Big old crow making all this noise. Oh, now you're silent. Now that I'm filming, you're completely silent. All right, there we go. This stretch is very exposed and it's not really hot right now so it's completely fine and for us it's downhill most of the way but I could see doing this especially climbing this at like 2 3 4 p.m. in the heat with no water would be really challenging it's really neat how different this trail is in the different sections you can totally tell that there's like different climates and I like that but I've really enjoyed the east side and right now I'm really enjoying the north side it's the views of the lake from the north and the east have been the most incredible. It's just absolutely stunning. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Mmm. Poop. Cold diarrhea. All right, we've made it to the state line and we're going into California. California girl. My home state. Yeah, we're leaving my home state. Bye Nevada. It's been real, but I gotta finish this because I'm dying right now. We made it down this massive descent and we're just taking a break. Is this the Brockway Trailhead? Oh, God. Yeah, we can't read. We're just. <laughs> no. Um, 
anyway, we're, we're just taking a break. Um, and we're going to go a little bit. We're going to go back into the woods to find a camping spot. There's not much. We'll find something. I don't know. But yeah, pretty, pretty good day. Actually pretty easy. We've sat and talked a lot. So we could have done like another like 20 miles if we didn't talk as much. But that's okay. It's so cool because we're like getting so close to Tahoe City. So we're getting really excited. But yeah, just going to do a final push, I think. Right? Couple more out or a couple more miles. This is it. This is it. We're feeling good. Yeah, we're feeling good. We are flying. We're flying. Flying is the right word. We're flying. We're flying through the tree. Flying through the trail. Flying. Yeah. yeah. I gotta go. I'm losing my mind. This nice water cache people put. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> so nice. 